Oh, it's can she dance? Well, Buck Sweep will take the opening kickoff, and he's just going to fair catch it at the 31 and go to work. He says his offense is looking really, really good right now. We're going to get a chance to see it up close and personal. Setting your audibles right off the start was something they added a few patches ago. Of course, the scum kick. We already talked about that's added there. So I like it. I like the fair catch at the 31. You might be able to juke and jive for six more yards, but is it worth coughing up the football? <laughs> Not because you, you don't have any of your coaches' adjustments set on that opening kickoff. First and 10 from the 31. Why not? This is something that a lot of the guys have talked about is, all right, we're going to set up set up all our adjustments here early and let's just be gentlemen here and let's decline that first penalty and go to work and that shows you that madden while there's a lot of trash talking <laughs> a lot of chirping it is still a gentleman's game now from here on <laughs> exactly. that was it that was that was it from here on it's it's fair game first and ten opening play who's going to face goes in the finals here for the washington redskins of course, the other day I went downtown. All right, sure. Let's just let's just uh, just take about 10 minutes here to set our audibles, and then we'll be ready to go, guys. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is where I'm supposed to run out and go grab that ham sandwich. <laughs> I passed the old RFK. A little thumbs up. They're ready to go oh, now. Oh, that's great. Pass that's the old sportsmanship. RFK. You ever go catch a game out at RFK? Yes. Yes, yeah. I have. It was it was a good experience. It was a very very good experience. Of course, they're now out here at FedEx Field. 1997 is when they called this their home. They've hosted a lot of big games. Some international soccer matches, which is about football in the rest of the world. And on first down to Sean Watson. You'll see his patch drop. Quite a rarity, but we, you know, as you move through the season, you got a, a bigger plethora of players to choose from. We got four different quarterbacks today. Deshaun Watson, the former Clemson Tiger at the helm. I'm loving the use of the word plethora. We'd be rather punctilious in assuming you have an expansive vocabulary from which to draw. It's a verbal cornucopia of quarterbacks tonight. <laughs> hey, if you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, man, I'll, I'll make it happen on you. Gee. First and 10 out of the 46-yard line for Buck Sweep. Delaney Walker, one of his big targets, he talked about us yesterday at the hotel we were sitting there having having some Starbucks there in the lobby he said I don't you know I'm not very strong at wide receiver but he does have beast mode as his running back and that's where he goes we're gonna have a flag here and it's gonna be holding so aggressive blocking on for his coaching adjustment it's gonna cost him 10 yards and he goes right back to balance <laughs> <laughs> he had to get rid of that really quickly he, you can't afford to lose yards like that this early on this kind of possession. First and 20 on your first drive. Not the way he scripted his first 10 plays. Of course, not a lot of, I mean, we call it film, but not a lot of footage really on either of these guys. Of course, the MWS crew kind of going in on buck sweep on this one. He's definitely the people's favorite. Finds Reed. At the 42 yard line. Of course, Jordan Reed. A couple years ago. Got beat by Eric Berry in San Francisco, the old Madden Bowl, before the pro Madden players came in and said, All right, that's enough of you guys. That's enough of you NFL guys playing. We're, 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 we're taking this over. Of course, that's now called the EA Sports Bowl. Last year, Eric Berry won that again. It means business. Trey Wingo, Ocho Cinco were out there on the call on that one. First and 10 at the 44. Buck sweep on a drive. Woods in motion. Goes to Lynch, gets to the edge. Pick up four yards to the 40. As you can see, Buck sweeps offense. Slow, methodical, but he keeps moving the ball. He's moving the chains. Four yards in the cloud of dust. I'll take it. Deion Sanders with already three tackles on this opening drive. That's not good. That's not what you want to see if you're a legend. Is Deion having to make plays? Not in the least. Not in the running game for sure. 
Especially according to Tony Romo. Did you see that? Oh, my goodness. That was great. Second and six, and Delaney Walker picks up 10. Deshaun, four of five for Buck Sweep here on the opening drive. And that was a wide open look. As you can see, his offense is clicking. He has some reads. Deshaun. Walker once again right up the seam. Picks up some big yardage, and he's going to go hurry up here. When you get that look that you're wanting, keep that defense on the field, keep it going. You know he only has a certain number of options. You're legend, you got an audible, and he does. That might have been a Tampa 2 look. So second and 10. After Delaney Walker two straight times, caught one up the seam, and there you see Sean Taylor. We're talking about, you know, you talk about Herschel or Bo, you talk about the, the base safeties ever. Also from the U, got Santana Moss in the house. Sean Taylor, maybe the best to ever do it. Now, here's an interesting Sean Taylor uh, Madden reference. The Madden challenge was actually held at the Pro Bowl of the finals the year that Sean Taylor debacled the punter. <laughs> Everybody, we were all there. We all got tickets to go yeah. to the game. It was an absolute amazing scene. And, you know, Sean, you know, RIP, just an amazing talent. Third and 13 now. Of course, goes down in Redskins lore. So a lot of amazing Sean Taylor things here around the stadium. Talk about those Lombardi trophies. That Redskins belt. I was, I mean, I still am a huge Joe Gibbs fan. Yes. You know. Even my NASCAR sides. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Third and 13. Already chewed up. Three minutes and change here. The first quarter for Buck Sweep. Double tight end. Watson. Throws it low to Paul Richardson from the Seahawks, and he's got the first touchdown. Buck Sweep strikes first. And if you ask Buck Sweep, hey, your first drive is going to take up three minutes. You're going to get your touchdown. He'd say, I'll take this every day and twice on Saturday. You ever pick the Madden play Buck Sweep? You know what I'm saying? I tell you, NCAA 14, oh, I'm hitting you with some buck sweep. I can tell you that. <laughs> Seven nothing, oh my. Is that a close line? Whew. That was a hard hit. Hello, legend, welcome. Trailing by a touchdown with 150 left in the quarter. And we wondered if we were gonna see him. Talked about the four different quarterbacks. He talked about going the, you know, Russell Wilson. But when we got the rosters, ends up going with RG3 out of Baylor. Of course, had some big games oh, yeah. here in FedEx Field. Boy, before the injuries, Bobby Griffin, the third, was a bad man. <laughs> Mama, there goes that man. <laughs> well, they can set their audibles here. This had to be a pre predetermined before the game. And I think you might see this as we move through this entire club championship. I want to make sure you get your, your on-the-fly audibles, something that they added two patches ago in the game, something that you really had access to pre-game when you're playing regs, which is the normal Madden. Of course, we're playing salary cap here. If you're joining us out on redskins.com, they, they have a, each player has a cap value. So if you're Randy Moss, you're 75 wide receiver, uh, you only get 900 cap, so they have to spread it around. Sometimes they'll pick some lower players. Maybe your punter is an 11 cap, or you're, you decide that your left guard is going to be a 14. But then you decide, like RG said, you decide, where are you going to put the goons? <laughs> where are you going to put the goons out there? Now, do you That's put the, the goons out first, or you get the Grizzlies first? I'm, I'm a Grizzlies guy. I like, I, like, I like a little goon and Grizzlies on that defensive line. <laughs> it's going to be rushing four here on first and 10. Griffin hands it off to Derrick Henry, speaking of Alabama, and he'll pick up five yards. Another great one. Of course, we had Mark Ingram 
Go in and set the Super Bowl last year. Yeah, he said it too. We had, we had a good old time. And uh, we'll see. He looks like he might be making it back there. Yeah, we'd love to see him this year if he can make it out. Second and five. He's available. <laughs> too soon? Uh, that is too soon. <laughs> I, can, I can tell you way too soon. And there is Moss with a drop. Not Santana. Santana would have caught him and Randy with a drop. Absolutely. Let's be honest, right? Randy Moss is pretty good Moss. <laughs> He's a decent Moss. I think even Santana would agree with us on that one. Third and five. Of course, Randy was supposed to play at Notre Dame. Then Bobby Bowden was going to take him at Florida State. But he ended up at Marshall. And there goes RG3. Funky socks and all to the 49. That was a great play. Got love the play call and the execution. Notice he tried to get out of bounds. He didn't want to take that hit. No. That Sammy took with Vic when he tried to run that one time. And I wonder if that fumble out of bounds is what scared Gatsby in that first game to keep him from running. As you can see, nothing's scaring Bucksby right now. I think what happened to Gatsby is uh, give up two non-offensive touchdowns. That'll put you on tilt. Checks it down to Henry. And Henry with a nice gain at the 38. Legend looking pretty good on his opening possession. He, he said he, was gonna, he wasn't going to be phased by anything that he saw. He said, this is a video game. I've played it just as much as everybody else, and I can play with anybody. And he's still mad about the 77% <laughs> of the chat and Twitch and the Madden universe that picked him to not win. Finds himself down a touchdown on the edge of field goal range. Two seconds to go here in the first. Derrick Henry from the Tennessee Titans will take it to the 33. By the way, Chris Thompson, you know, plays here with the Washington Redskins, was a huge player at the Madden Challenge. A lot of guys using Chris Thompson when we were last out there in Los Angeles. Definitely made uh, most of the rosters. We saw Josh Norman make some big plays as well. That happens, man. That happens in the NFL. That happens everywhere. Talking with Larry Michaels about some of the. He was asking me where I was from. I said, you know, I'm from South Carolina. Well, he's like, well, Josh Norman played down at Coastal. Rashard Breeland played at Clemson. DJ Swearinger played at South Carolina. Swearinger put one of the biggest hits I've ever seen on Andre Ellington in a Clemson. South Carolina game. Swearinger, that bad? he ain't no joke. <laughs> he would be one of my least favorite to uh, get hit by in the league. Nice job on the edge there. Third and nine after Khalil Mack, maybe you've heard of him, comes up and makes a stop. Yes, and is this where I throw in my obligatory Farrell's return of the Mack joke? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to Z Farrell's. NS Gibbs. Yeah, both, both those guys, you know, I miss them. Both those guys have been putting in a lot of work. They're at the HQ. Yes. Down in Orlando, Orlando the old Tiburon. Well, 84 Madden players will be at Tiburon next week. <laughs> wow. That's going to be it's a sort lot. of a, you know, you know, you got BlizzCon, you got all these other. Madden Palooza. It's going to be MaddenCon. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I like Madden Palooza too. I'm cool with that. I, I don't want to mess you up if you've already made the t shirts. <laughs> yes. Third and nine at the 37. Legend looking pretty good on this drive, maybe stalling out here just on the edge of field goal range. It's going to be interesting to see if he's playing for three here and just, or is he trying to make sure he ties this game up. He can't take a sack. Speaking of Gamecocks, Ryan Suckup is his kicker. And that's a big time flag. We'll move him ahead five yards to the 32. And that makes this a whole lot more manageable. Absolutely, just a 39, uh, excuse me, a 49 yard from there. I was told there'd be no math. Third and four. Griffin in the gun. Two tight ends. Legend seems calm, right? Both these guys seem pretty calm. Yeah, they have not a lot of emotion on either one. They're they're locked in because they know it's at stake. Oh, we could have ran that. Low pass to Shannon Sharp. Fourth 
and inches. That's the right call. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Them. I think you got to go here. I mean, it's literally an inch. Four oh five left to go here in the first half. He's got it at the twenty eight. And he's going to go here and he's not lining up for the QB sneak. He's going to run a play. OK, and we got the. Uh, the officials going to step in. Saw this in the in the semifinal number one where Goes had a few questions. Yeah, he was now trying to ask him how to stop. <laughs> <laughs> how do I block this kick? Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure they're passing out tips and tricks. Big shout out to. I've had a few Pepsi's since I've been here. Matter of fact, I'm sipping on one as we speak. Yeah, I, I'm. You know, when I do the play by play, I like to do the. I like to go with the agua. You know, I go H2O. But you're a Pepsi guy, just like Justin Chow. Oh, no, oh, nobody. See, that's like. Pepsi needs to hire I, Justin I'm, Chow. I'm he's not, like the. He's I'm like, not even in Chow's class. <laughs> like, I, I wouldn't even try to sit here and qualify that. That's that's no. That's like having somebody saying somebody's fast against somebody who has world class Olympic speed. <laughs> uh, Chow is on another level when it comes to Pepsi. And you he's know how the they, Usain Bolt of Pepsi. Like yes. Telling it. And then here's the interesting thing. Have you ever gone to a restaurant that doesn't serve Pepsi with Chow? Oh, it's. Uh, he says it's not an issue, but it's an issue. Oh, it's definitely an issue. It's an it, issue. It's an issue. Uh, I don't know who has more stories, me, you, or RG. <laughs> <laughs> RG definitely will have more stories when it comes to Justin Chow. Of course, both those guys, former pro Madden gamers back in the day, and we're we're trying to we're, we're trying to figure this thing out here. Of course, hanging out here at FedEx Field, the two-time Super Bowl champion Redskins. By the way, I was just looking, the chat was just telling us, lights out, shout out to the said, I've never seen Chow without a Pepsi in his yeah. hand. Everybody is saying that he is the GOAT. Of course, lights out was doing a Friday Night Madden last night. You know, they, every Friday, they were announced for the legends are coming up, Twitch Prime guys. Got to sign up for that Twitch Prime. I can tell you that. Like, you got to you gotta have those legends. He did a great job last night. Uh, but here in this one, we have, we have some sort of uh, issue where, where the officials are stepping in and and it seems like Buck Sweep was the one that had the issue. Maybe a little bit of veteran gamesman. Games yeah. Trying to try to throw him off, keep him yeah, off. Legends on a drive. It's fourth and inches. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Edge. Sorry, sorry to end your momentum. Yeah. Well, back into it here. Fourth and inches for Legend coming up here. As he's got a decision to make. It looked like he was going to go for it. Now he's had sort of a unofficial timeout. Maybe he's. Uh, had some heart to heart here. It's it's a 45 yarder from here. They're going to mark the ball at the 28 yard line. Fourth and inches, and he's going to go for it. And uh -oh. here's some timeouts here. Of course, Buck Sweep was charged a timeout for that. Anytime you stop the game, stop the game, or go into the pause screen, you're you're penalized one of your timeouts. No no harm, no foul here in the first half. Both competitors with one timeout each. 3:56 on the clock. Biggest play of the game thus far, fourth and inches. Griffin in the gun. He's going to go to the air. Pump fakes. He's going for the end zone. And it's dropped. He didn't have to air that out. He put too much air underneath that. He had him once he got off that jump. He could have just rifled that and got it out there. But do you go for all that when it's fourth and inches? That's some rancheros and huevos. Yes. There to go for the bomb. That's that, that's that W problem call. <laughs> Wow. And now Buck sweeps in control of this game. First and 10, he's got the lead. After the turnover on downs. Legend would have lived up to his name. <laughs> Just a bit too much air under it. Marshawn gets the first, close to a first down. Right. Second and inches. All right, everybody out there in the chat that's watching this, what do you guys think about that fourth and inches play call? What's the play that you would have ran? A run, sneak, or a pass. You're like making the chat work. No, no, no. You're, you're it's organizing. You're putting the chat. You're, you're putting them into a. It it's keeps, a Saturday, man. We got the day off. It We're keeps putting them off. Pretty. Doing the honeydews. <laughs> <laughs> Should be cleaning the gutters or watching some Madden. You know how it is. Second and inches. Now, why would he not take that first as soon as he comes up? He's going to throw it away. Watson, six of nine for 78 yards and a touchdown. Fourth and inches, you throw it to the end zone. Wow. <laughs> that's that's tough. Kill, kill, kill. 
Going to need a stop. You got to love the chat. The first answer was a field goal. <laughs> the first answer. Hey, in Madden 18, you can get three. And here we go, fourth and one. You asked him this question yesterday at the hotel. Would he go for it on his own side? And here he is. All day to throw. And there is Woods. So Robert Woods will pick up the first down. Move the chains. He said he would get it done. He's a man of his word. He did. Deion Sanders out with five tackles. Not what you want to see if you're a legend. First and ten. Two minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the half. Watson will go up under center. Lynch misses the truck, but it doesn't matter. Did he just do, pull the Saints? Michael? <laughs> the difference is, is he has the ball and he has the first down. He didn't lose the game. He didn't lose the game for it. <laughs> You can go ahead and try to make that hit stick. <laughs> Trey Wayne's on the tackle. Hey, I if if Marshawn Lynch lowered his head, I'd be I'd be moving out to the side too. I'm, I'm not standing in front of you. First and ten. Watson waiting for the route to come open, but just has to throw it away. Takes a long time for that flanker day to come across the field. Is this just me, or does it seem like it is taken forever? And he still hasn't crossed. <laughs> he still hasn't even gotten past the point. Right now, Legend playing coverage. Just rushing four. And Jordan Reed hangs on at the 38 and Legend. Going to use a timeout right before the two-minute warning. Kind of a smart play there by Legend. Third and three. Edge of field goal range. If he doesn't get it here, clock would stop for the fourth down field goal. Or he might go for it. Kind of no man's land right now. Third and three. Watson, low throw. Can't hang on. 58 yarder, and he's going to go for it. Interesting call to go for it here when you already got that stop. It seemed like he was having trouble, I guess, on the 38 yard line. His kicker. Yeah, 50. He's got Dan Bailey. Boy, that would, that would be every bit of what Dan Bailey's got. Of course, you get seven here. Be big. He's going for it on fourth and three here at the two minute warning. I bet you Buck Sweep's not going to go looking for the end zone here <laughs> on this fourth and three. He's going to get his first down if he can and love it. He's going to use his timeout. That's where I feel like if you're going to, if you know you're going to call a timeout, maybe you come out, check the win. A little mad move, see what I you like got that. going. Didn't like what he saw though, fourth and three. Yeah, 55 yard for Dan Bailey. Mm. That's a tough ask. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough one. Of course, we saw a 55 yarder by Gadsby. Watson. Off his back foot. Woods has got to make a play, and he does it. Now, Legend with a huge stop. That was an amazing stop, but Buck Wheat stopped himself. He could have ran for that with his quarterback on that, but instead threw back across, wasn't able to make him miss on that tackle. Now, Legend's right back in this game. First and 10. Ball at the 36. He could come down here and tie this up, and he gets the ball to start the second half. Something the Patriots have become very good at and started their success in scoring before the half Double. and scoring in their first possession. Double dip in the chip. Now, Legend here has to be smart. He gets the ball back in the second half. So don't force it here. Do not give this ball back, no matter what, to Buck Sweet. Unless you score quickly or something of that nature, you have to manage the clock. And you can't try to tie it up and all of a sudden find yourself down 14. You can't have that happen either. Griffin. Goes to Derrick Henry. Of course, right now, I mean, he's maybe thinking, hey, I'd move it slowly. If I get three here, I'll have the opportunity to take the lead on the other, other side of the half. I, I can live with that as long as you don't turn the ball over. Bunch to the left. Griffin in the gun, a little motion. And throws a pick. Did not see 
Deion Jones lurking right behind the line. And this is exactly what I said. You got to be smart. You can't afford to turn this up. Now, when you had a shot to tie it up, go up in the next half, you might be down 14 nothing in Never Never Land. Watson throws the corner strike for 29. One of the best routes you can run in Madden football, especially against cover two. Watson up the seam, hangs on at the 11. Clock on the move. No timeouts for Buck Sweep or Legend. Buck Sweep is smart. He scores quickly as possible, then Legend turned the ball over again. Dion with now eight tackles. All in the first half. The linebackers in line got to start doing for something for Legend. I know he's been playing coverage. Got to try to hold him out of the end zone here. Back to Lynch. Cuts it. And it's Skittles time. The end of the rainbow is six points. Now, if you're a legend, I know things have not gone well for you. I know you feel like your back's against the wall. But you're truly not in that bad of a situation if you can score before this half. You have 55 seconds. If you score and you go down 14-7, you get the ball back, you can tie it up, and you're still in this game. Right now, he needs to score by any means necessary. Before this, when it was just 7-0, I said to be careful. 14-0, you're getting blown out. You have to score here or else it's done. Which the other side of the coin is you don't want it to be 21 to nothing either. It's not going to make a difference if he goes in 14-0, because even if he scores 14-7, but he's not stopping Bucksweep. The Bucksweep has been so methodical, so calculating in his offense, can't afford to just get rid of that. First and 10 at the 35. 54 seconds remaining in the half. Sky Cole Rico Williams here with you live from Landover, Maryland. FedEx Field, home of the Redskins. Goes Madden Zari in the final. Rocking. That's what I think is the most intimidating is the, these Lombardi trophies that are basically sitting two feet away from you. <laughs> and Sharp will try to get out of bounds, but his knee went down. Clock on the move. You do need to hurry up. Pardon the pun. Going deep. Randy Moss is a guy that can make that play but can't haul it in. I don't mind that. I don't mind that look at all for where he was in that play. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not 50-50 like maybe it was in Madden 16, but you gotta, you gotta give it a chance. Good job picking up the blitz. And Ross gets out of bounds at the 48. Now you open up your, your options here. If you could get 13, maybe you could get three. Do you think three helps him here? It's better than zero. I'm not very good at math, but I know it's better than zero. Third and three. Look at Butts sweep, usering the safety back there, and he overthrows him on the corner route. There, there are some uh, wounds that a Band-Aid just can't cure, and that three is only going to be a Band-Aid for this one. It's actually a wheel route. Coming out of that slot position, and now he's just got to hurl it toward the end zone. We said someone said in chat to kick the field goal. Maybe 7-3 would have been a, with a chance to get the ball to start the half. Now he's got to, he needs some Madden magic here at the 48. He's got to take off a Griffin. Okay. And <laughs> two year of that. <laughs> 14 to nothing. The underdog trailing by two touchdowns had some opportunities there in that first half. And, you know, Rico, when you come into this, it's it's, you know, even at the at the highest level, they talk about, hey, the game comes down to three or four plays, you know, and sometimes it's not the plays you think he had the opportunity there to be in this first half couldn't execute. 
he's going to be thinking about that his entire time while he's watching either goes or bucks sweep in Orlando at the Pro Bowl where he went wrong on that fourth down fourth and in inches you live to play another series yeah. you cannot just put it all on there and take that less than 50 50 play again we said this isn't last year or the year before is Madden you gotta go with a different read there of course if he doesn't put as much air under it and he scores. We think he's absolute genius. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at these first half highlights between Buck Sweep and Legend. It's 14 to nothing currently in it. At the start, it was Buck Sweep that got the ball first and he went right to work. That he did. He picked apart that defense all the way down the field, getting in the end zone for that seven. Scored on the low pass, flipped Sean Taylor up in the air. It was seven to nothing. Here's that fourth and inches you talked about. The play fake, fake the screen pass and throws it deep. Didn't work out. And so Buck Sweep gets the pick and has an opportunity with 97 seconds to come out here and score. And just like that, we saw him go to beast mode. And maybe if he Carroll would have made that call, we would have a different history. <laughs> You just you just you just bag on everybody. Yeah, yeah, Goes is kicking. You got you throwing Pete Carroll under the bus. Don't don't forget Legends play calling. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, if it worked, we'd be calling him a genius right now. Yes, yes we would. But it wasn't the high percentage play when it comes to it. He, I mean, it was like it wasn't fourth and inches. It was fourth and an inch. He had the fumble by Shannon Sharp after he picked up the first down. Fumbled back behind the line. So now to start the second half, Legend's going to get it. I, you don't want to say anytime it's a must score, but it feels like a must score situation. Oh, no, no. You definitely can say it's a must score situation. Just like we saw in the game before where Greg Gatsby was in a must score situation. He didn't score in the second half. Hopefully, Legend will finally be able to put some points on the board, and you don't want to get shut out coming out of this. Playing for five grand, the belt, chance to represent the Redskins at the Pro Bowl. It's thumbs up. We're ready to go here in the second half. Buck sweep with a 14-0 lead. Had a good time so far. Goes had a big win. Now Buck sweep's trying to handle his end of the deal. And all I know is it's going to be looking like a pretty good final. With we are in for a treat. That goes Buck sweep game is. We're going to be watching Bobby Fischer, and it's going to be a high-level chess match. What I'm saying is, Man. if the if the Cinderella here comes back, then you continue the Cinderella story against the favorite. If Buck Sweep holds on, then you got your two favorites facing each other in the finals. Either way, you're going to have a good one. First and 10 at the 33. Griffin hands it off to Henry, and he'll fall forward to the 40. That's going to bring up a second and four. In the first half, Legend really wasn't moving with a sense of urgency. I'll be curious to see if he picks up the pace of his play calling and his action there to maximize the number of possessions over. Bunch to the right, solo to the left. Griffin. Picked up a block, was able to get out of trouble, and that'll move the chains. Here's a hurry up. And that's what I wanted to see last game and last half out, out of Gatsby and last half out of Legend. He took what the defense gave him, took those five yards, and he's make him play him honest. First and 10 at the 43. A little tempo. Play action. And this time he can't get away. Vic Beasley with the sack. Enrico, we've watched a lot of Madden over the last couple of years and even further back. Hurry up is never the move. Now, I'd love someone to do the stats of the amount that you hurry up. Do you ever get a positive play after that? I've always said when you see a Madden player continue to hurry up, it's the equivalent of a poker player being on tilt. They're just trying to hurry up and get something going because they're unable to normally move the ball like they wanted to. There's Jansen. Able to pick up seven. That'll make it a third and nine. We'll go to Derrick Henry. So he set himself up for a fourth and manageable on the plus side of the 50. And here comes that hurry up. He's looking at the end zone. <laughs> you better be looking for the drag route. Oh, I think he's going to throw this one in the bushes right by the 35 yard line. <laughs> it is a little surreal in these club championships to 
be at the real FedEx field as Khalil Mack does what Khalil Mack's do. But I'm telling you, I, I've watched a lot of Madden. I very rarely have seen a hurry up play. Even when you're playing, I don't care if you're playing the weekend league, salary cap, whatever. The hurry up just doesn't work. Hurry up and lose. <laughs> and so this what looks like it's happening right here. You're down 14 nothing. You can't even give up three here. Then it becomes a three score game and the clock is not your friend. Now that's all Buck Sweep needs. Three minutes to go in the quarter. Three would be huge. And speaking of huge, right now, Buck Sweep needs to make sure that he uses just as much time as he does games yards. 30 second play clock, five minute quarters here in salary cap mode. Second and 10. Finals coming up next. Now that is a savvy veteran move. Once he completed that pass, he sure he went down inbounds to keep that clock ticking. Third and four. Ball at the 35. Can't take a sack here. Three is big. Low throw to Delaney Walker on the outside. And that'll move the chains. He's a couple times gone right up the seam with Delaney. When he needs a go-to now, I wonder if that's something that goes is putting in his mental role of X. When it comes down, it's clutch, he needs a play. I need to make sure I take away Delaney Walker. That's one of the wonderful parts about playing first that you get to watch this. When you play second, you're more concerned about getting your game right, making sure everything's settled for you, instead of watching that other game, trying to. Lynch tries to truck his way. Will actually lose a yard. But if you see the setup for Legend, he's actually using two middle linebackers there, but he's using the left one. And so that right seam, quick throw up the seam, has been open for Buck Sweep. He's had some great pre-snap reads. He's been all over. You can tell he has really, really mastered the cerebral part of that. How many teams out there wish they would have drafted Deshaun Watson? There's, <laughs> there's a Lisa, Lisa Baker's dozen that had the opportunity. But no Browns, keep doing keep doing your thing. <laughs> and here's the question. Keep doing your thing. What else could he have done besides pick apart Nick Saban and do everything <laughs> to show you that he would have been great? Back to back years. Yeah, back to back, back years. Second and eleven. He showed you that he can play with anybody. He can he can beat the best on the biggest stage under the bright lights, and they still overlooked him. We'll see what happens in the sophomore year. You know, Jared Gaff actually stepped it up in year two. Wentz. An incredible season before he went down. And Philly would be the favorite if they had Wentz. That without a doubt. I agree. So 14 to nothing. And I think I believe if you ask Tubby, he's gonna tell you Philly's the favorite still as well. They got incredible defense. Two amazing defenses will be going at it. And Paul Richardson picks one off the turf. And he's inside the red zone down at the five, and you can see the reflection. <laughs> oh, we got a smile. You can see the smirk on Buck Sweep, knowing he maybe got away with one. And that's when you can tell that Madden is going good for you. That little chuckle, he's like, ah, I'll take it. I, I know I'm up 14, but I'll still take anything you can give me. Well, get ready to put your fours up, folks. We will be headed to the fourth quarter after this play. Stretch and a nice job bottling it up. 14 point lead. Boy, field goal would probably ice this one. You'd need a, a little bit of magic to come back from three possessions. You're gonna need a lot of magic, <laughs> a little bit of sorcery, and instead of one of those four Bo Jacksons, you're probably gonna need a Harry Potter. You're working on a crossover campaign. I see that. A little bit, a little bit. Try. Lynch 
Hello. Third and goal. <laughs> Immediately took his ball carrier adjustments to a conservative. <laughs> <laughs> that hit was. He felt it. He's leaning back in the chair. Like Kramer when he gets hit with the. Kenny Rogers roaster to light. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was coming through. That's how I feel under these bright lights here. Third and goal. Using every ounce of the play clock. And Lynch stumbles his way to the six. Legend. Two timeouts on both sides. Going to be a 23 yarder for buck sweep to make it a three possession game. Does can he block scoop and score? Can we get to be honest? That's what he needs right now. Here we go. You just you can't jump. It'll take perfect time and to come off the edge. There's a superstition. Three. I was about to say, is he waiting for the three? Yeah. Now he's going to kick it. 17 to nothing. We talked about Tim Howard earlier. It's been a clean sheet thus far for Bucks Week. It has been. Now, in the first game, Goes gave up six points, which is respectable in the first half. Played shutout football the entire second half. Bucks Week is pitching a shutout this entire game. Does that speak to the level of defense or the lack of offense? You know, you, usually you might see some offensive success when you don't have a lot of quote unquote film on someone. But both Goes and Buck Sweep have adapted very quickly to the competition. Here's a timeout for Buck. Second and inches. Leg needs two quick scores and somewhere a stop. You've been wearing that hat? You've got some sweat on it. You've been wearing that hat? <laughs> no, I'm actually, they got me my own fan. I'm okay, down right. right now. So you got one fan now. <laughs> yes. If I, if I went to your Twitter account, I'd say one. Barely. Say <laughs> <laughs> half of them. Third and one. Ball at the 43. Trailing by 17. And Henry goes airborne to the 48. He caught him in the air. That was a great animation. And Griffin will take off. RG3 to the 45. And here comes that hurry up again. Now he's doing that because he knows he needs at least 18 points in the next three minutes and 16 seconds and he hasn't scored yet in the game so. The only advantage you have to hurrying up is the defense doesn't get a change personnel. Because honestly it's almost just as fast to pick a quick play. Why was wide open he was and why you didn't throw it. I'll never know why. <laughs> Second and 20 for legend. If you're why you're coming back to the huddle. Upset. The Twitch chat is undefeated. And yeah, Mutt Wieners we see you out there on Twitter. Hitting us with the. Uh, you know Jerry. You know um, him and Michael Richards of course it, comedians and cars getting coffee. He said that was one of his favorite moments when. When Kramer leaned back and he got hit. That was a great episode. It was. Let's go. So, so, we were talking about that in the elevator last night. I said you're a big Seinfeld fan. You Seinfeld fan. So here comes Fork down at the 33. This could be the game. My favorite episode was when uh, the marathoner overslept. <laughs> and <laughs> Jerry took it upon himself. He said, was it the AM or PM? <laughs> It was the snooze, man. <laughs> the volume and the radio was waking up to the radio. <laughs> the volume was down. Well, 
Buck sweep up 17. Ohio, Ohio. I'm telling you, you put your gamer tag as a legend. Mm. You gotta, you gotta be legendary. But you know what we can do? Wait for it. Wait for it. We've been waiting. And hopefully, Madden 19, he becomes three, legendary. Three and a half quarters. Legend is. Got a big fat donut up on the board, and I know my I know my way around some donuts. I'm a Boston cream guy. You so? Well, let's let's talk about this. No, wait, let me guess. No, no, you, hold on. Bear claw count? I, I, no. I, I see you as a bear claw. The guy. first question you have to ask when it comes to donuts: Are you a Dunkin' Donut guy or are you a Krispy Kreme guy? That's where you find out where somebody's from. Now, the, the, I, I don't need to ask you where you're from if you answer that question. Here's what I'll tell you. <laughs> if I walk into a room and there are donuts. I don't there, care where they're from. <laughs> yeah, at that point. I no, I reach for the Boston cream. Okay. But if we are driving and somebody says, let's stop and get donuts, and that hot, fresh and ready Krispy Kreme light well, is there, on. There you go. And there's a Dunkin' Donuts across the street. I still go and get my hot Krispy Kreme. That fresh out donut. Be honest, both of them are incredible. <laughs> they are third and five. Now, I'm going to show you how. Are you going to make the chat? You're not going to make the Twitch chat work again. Right? No, the Twitch chat already. They said they're, look, already, they're already going. Doughboys donuts. I've never even heard of that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm from South Carolina, so we're Krispy Kreme Nation down there. Let me explain to you. I took. Remember, I used to live in Charlotte. Yeah. At a NASCAR race, I had a bacon double cheeseburger. But instead of bread, they used two Krispy Kreme donuts. It was amazing. I remember that day. You were in the hospital for three days. <laughs> yeah, almost <laughs> lost a foot. Fourth and four, and Bucks people kick it away. We've had uh, two second halves today. Boy, there's a little room to the outside. Oh. Nice move by Legend. He's up the sideline, the 20, the 10. He's on the board. No time for stories. Don't call it a comeback because he's not. <laughs> but tell you, kick the onside here. You got no timeout. 63 seconds to go. Trailing by 10. He needs. I mean, trust me, it's a tall mountain. <laughs> All right. Do you think he does he have an onside kick? This is it. Everyone's got to have an onside kick. We'll see. Yep, that's that's right where I'd put it. And it's scooped up. By Delaney Walker and Buck Sweep's gonna hold on, but Legend able to get a late firework, but it's a little bit too late. So Buck Sweep gave up more points. <laughs> it goes, it goes, yeah. Just because of that kick return, the best play in football. Victory formation, 17 to seven. We're gonna have goes and Buck Sweep in the final. The two favorites. Here for the Washington Redskins, winner will go to the Pro Bowl to represent the team, go against the other 31 teams. It's going to be cool down there, Rico. I mean, they're each going to play in their own divisions. So, we'll have an opportunity. <laughs> Cowboys, Eagles, Giants. You thought Dubby and Hollywood. It was going to be a great one. <laughs> you thought they had a little animosity. We're going to see some rivalries. Uh, build you know, that's with Dave Grunfield and we we're talking about the Orlando experience and I said you're gonna see some rivalry some nice sportsmanship there between Buck Sweep boy I need hair like that even if it's messy and out of place I need I need I need that kind of hair in my life. <laughs> see, I'm having a phenomenal hair day as you can see it's it's, it's on point it's, yeah. better. it's it's I got a little fade thing going here mostly God is doing the fading. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's slowly, slowly fading me back. I'm not, I'm not at LeBron stage. You're not, you're not there yet. I'm yeah. not, I haven't hit that. I don't have a five head. <laughs> Big win, 17 to seven. So it's goes and buck sweep. That's what the people thought was yeah. going to happen. By the way, shout out to Legend who was upset that 77% of the people thought that he never changed. But it looks like it should have been 100. Yeah. That's tough. I mean, he, he fought the good fight. But any of those polls, it's it's guys that maybe you didn't heard of. You know, they don't get you know they don't get the recognition. They ha they have the opportunity to get their name out there. 
fought there to the very end. I mean, he only gave up 17 points, but had some key plays. The fourth and inches, we can go back to that. Maybe could have kicked a field goal there. You'd had a one possession game there at the end. Yeah. It's it's really, really interesting to say, throw those what if questions. What if that kick hadn't have been blocked scored and we have a different game? What if he would have went and just got that first down and moved on, possibly have scored? Would we have seen a different game? I don't really think so. I think they would have both by watching the way it played out, I think they both the better the better guy won both of those games. Santa Bio Buck Sweep is the all pro from the U. Santana Moss, take it away. Hey, first of all, Bucks, I want to tell you congratulations. Trust me, watching this game, it was no challenge from the start. I see you gave up one at the end. How did it feel to go to the next round? Feels really good. Feels really good. From a man with not many words, he said it feels really good. Back to you guys. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Santana. I mean, yeah, he's, he's been a man of few words. But a 